After Mr. Reynolds' announcement, we counted off by fours. I was a four. Rope climbing started with the threes. Luckily, we only had enough time left for one station that day. That meant I probably wouldn't get to that station until my next gym class. Maybe I could be sick that day. After gym, I went to my locker to get my lunch. As I was dialing my combination, I heard someone say, "You're not too crazy about rope climbing, are you?" I turned to see a dark-skinned boy looking at me through thick glasses. Actually, I hate rope climbing. I admitted. How did you guess? You looked like you were going to pass out when Mr. Reynolds was talking about it. Explained the boy. I was wearing black jeans and a bright yellow T-shirt with a picture of a lizard coming out of its pocket. Every time I looked at you after that, you were just staring up at the rope like you were in a trance. I laughed and said, "We never had to climb ropes at my old school." I tried a few times, but I wasn't very good at it. We started to walk around the cafeteria. I'm James," said the boy. "I'm Richard. You live in the old Miller place in Pine Street, don't you?" asked James. "How did you know?" "I've seen you in the backyard. I live in the street behind you, one house away. When I'm up in my treehouse, I can see right into your yard." I wasn't too crazy about the idea of someone spying on me, but I let it pass. That's your treehouse? I asked. I had seen the back of it from my yard. It sat high in the branches of a big oak tree. Yeah, my dad and I built it a few years ago. Do you want to come over after school today and see it? Sure, I said. Thanks. By this time, we had reached the cafeteria. I paused at the door and looked around. Students could sit anywhere, but most had already stocked out their regular tables. For the first few days, I had moved around, sitting on the fringes of groups that were caught up in their own conversation.